Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ilyas and welcome to your 24th tutorial on jQuery and in this tutorial we are going to add some extra functionality to our portfolio and we want to uh, be able to switch between the pictures so we I want to add like two arrows on the right and on the left side so you can scroll between the images but before we continue I noticed that we uh, don't have ID for this large image so, and we want to uh, set it, set it uh, an ID first before we uh, do uh, the rest of programming. So um, let's just go ahead and uh, and set an ID for it, and I'll just call it main. And then make sure you replace the other selectors in jQuery and as as well as in CSS. And instead of selecting frame image, select main. And in CSS we have this frame image, and now it's main. And somewhere we have hover right here, and we hover over main, not hover over frame image anymore. So this is done, and it works the same. So now we can uh, start programming the feature uh, for the arrows. So first, let's just go ahead and create a table inside of this frame, since tables are good for such uh, tasks. And we have one row and two columns one for the right and one for the left and I'll set them IDs like left and right uh, okay and um, I already prepared images for the arrows so uh, I created a folder called IMG and these two images and you'll be able to uh, download them and uh, so you that you can use them in your uh, own uh, web page. So let's create image tags and uh, link to this to the left image first. And do the same for the right image. I'll just copy this code and paste it because I'm lazy to type it again. Right and right. And then we have to style the table because right now the the table is uh, positioned is um, uh, positioned as default, and now so you see this table is pushing down the <coughs> image. We would don't wanna have that. So let's just go ahead and style this table frame table. I think I called it. Let me uh, look up. It's frame table. Yes. So I'll set frame table position to absolute. And I'll also set its width to be 660 pixels. And I'll also push it to the right by using margin left of 20 pixels. So right now we have our uh, table right here. And we also have to push the right arrow to the right side, to, to the right edge. So let's just go ahead and select the right one and use float property just to say float right and now it's on the right side and then we have to push them a little bit down okay I'll select the right as well as the left one so this position to be relative and top to 150 pixels so let's see what's gonna happen Yep, and as you see, we have this uh, arrows in the middle. We still have this little space between the edge and uh, the arrow, so we'll fix it in the next tutorials. So now we basically uh, created this arrows, and then the next thing we want to uh, create an, a jQuery event for tracking uh, clicks on this uh, arrows. So let's go to our uh, script and create a new selector and in this case right click function and uh, the same for the left left click function so I don't think we'll make it in this tutorial to write the code for it but we still already uh, have selectors and we have this arrows and in the next tutorial we'll finish this option of scrolling between two images 
So I hope you like you guys like this tutorial, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. So um, if you have any questions about the portfolio or about the CSS or HTML and stuff, you can go ahead and ask because I went pretty fast through the last steps of creating HTML and CSS structure. And the reason why I did fast because I wanted to focus on jQuery. I didn't want to focus on um, HTML and CSS. So in the next tutorial, we'll be uh, programming lots of jQuery. And I hope you guys follow along. And so see you guys in the next tutorial. Have a nice